Hello everybody, this is Handy863 here bringing you another video today and I'm here about to play the one and only Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now this is the only game I've got on the Switch um, and thankfully I've managed to actually work out how to record the Switch using my Ava Media. Like I was sort of panicking that I wasn't going to be able to do that but I tested it out yesterday and thankfully it's working so uh, I'm recording now. I do have some other news to play along with this as well, um, but I'll leave that to the end because people will probably want to look at, at this game. So yeah, it was released today, um, and it's basically just the um, the follow-up game to Mario Kart 8. Uh, like it said there, that was the um, <laughs> Mario Kart 8 sort of thing that came up. Uh, it's going to ask me to select a me. Of course, I'll choose my me. And uh, there we go. So we're in. So this is the all-new Mario Kart Deluxe. And it looks pretty decent. I mean, I can't really tell much of a graphical difference between what I can see on my TV now in comparison to the, to the Wii. Um, but there are some gameplay aspects that are different, and I will probably try and go and show that now. Um, so if you go through to time trials, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna select my me. Oh my god! Yeah, okay, this bit's different. Whoa! I must be a Splatoon vehicle. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll just go all normal right now. Um, so uh, you have all the DLCs ready and waiting for you. Um, on this game, uh, whereas on Mario Kart 8 you would have to buy them normally. But if we go to Royal Raceway, which is on here, um, should be Bunny Hop Left, Right, and Central. Um, this they've they've changed it, so they've got rid of bunny hopping on this track. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be able to PB. As you can see, the world record on here is two seconds behind my PB. On, Mario, on the original Mario Kart 8, but we're going to take a look and see what's happening here. Now, I believe that instead of the concept of bunny hopping, you actually have the ability to use a third mini turbo. I'm not too sure how well that runs on here, but we can probably take a look now um, just to see the game's physics. Ah, now, this guy's using a completely different kart combo to what you would usually have on Mario Kart 8 as well. So yeah, as you can see, no hopping. Pretty much just using these mini turbos. That was the only one there. <coughs> Excuse me. And you still do this, this little ramp. Oh, he actually tricked there. That's quite interesting. It's going to be very odd doing this without bunny hopping. I know for a fact that... Um, a 156, I believe, was possible on Mario Kart 8 originally without bunny hopping. Of course, I couldn't get to that total myself. Uh, someone else had to do that. Alright, so I think the boost there actually lasted for a little bit longer. I'm not too sure. This is definitely, diff definitely new. Like, this is going to take a lot of getting used to uh, playing like this. Um, I'm not typically looking into wanting to play in this fashion um, as such I kind of want to do um, mainly do battles on this because of course the battle mode is the thing that's actually new you can play this track and you can play as this character in this kart combo on Mario Kart 8 of course some stats have probably changed but um, you know it does look interesting and to think this record was probably most likely set today. Um, out of everything. It's probably going to be beaten later today as well. Be it that the game's only been released today. And unlike Mario Kart 8, I got this game on release day. Um, now, a thing with this as well, actually, uh, which I will go to show. Uh, is another feature that I might take interest into on this game is the fact that you can do 200cc time trials as well. So if I just 
How do I exit out of this? I have to wait for it to start again. So, um, you probably noticed at the beginning of the, uh, before I selected the course, or, well, after I selected the course, you have the option there to change to 200cc for your Royal Raceway. Um, so now if I go onto the ghost here, you get tra um, times which are exceptionally quicker than the other time that we just watched. So let's go ahead and download this and see what we have to play with here. I've actually used a me on this. This will be interesting. Let's take a look. I mean, it looks like you still got the amiibo suits available for you to use too. Okay. So from what I can tell, ah, now there's the suit. There's the the red mini turbo. This person just executed it here. Um, now I'm not there again. Again, they're just executing it there quite nicely actually. Interesting. So, uh, if you can't tell, this is incredibly, uh, just a lot faster than original, um, the original 150cc that we were watching earlier. As you can see, this person managed to clear a lap in 31 seconds, and I believe it was about 40 or 41 on the last ghost that we watched. So, it's an interesting concept to have that third mini turbo in there, I think that probably sort of uh, fixes the um, the mini turbo, the uh, bunny hopping issue, and yeah, that, this actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> it, it's definitely a different strap for the track in comparison to any to what I've looked at last last time. Interesting. I am going to be very. I think that might actually be a very interesting feature for me to try out. But what I wanted to look at the most is um, definitely the battles mode because this is completely different to what it was like last time so I'm just gonna go and um, oh yes there's actually something that I need to show too uh, give me a sec is it on this mode okay okay I just I literally just can't change the controller all right so let's just select my me first um, all right, that's the stats. Now, um, you have some sort of smart steering feature on here, which I'm going to turn off. And uh, I believe the Y is whether you want to turn the Joy-Cons or not, which I can't really do. I, I'm just holding two in each hand. Um, yeah, all right. So we're just going to go with this. And uh, there are no slicks, so I'm going to go with Sponge. And I am going to probably just use the regular glider. All right, so balloon battle. Um, we in the, in new new Mario Kart you have balloon battle, renegade roundup, bob and blast, coin runners, shine thief, and then random battle, which I guess just randomizes it, um, which would be nice actually. That I didn't even know that feature existed. <laughs> no, I've seen nobody use that in a, in any recordings. Uh, so balloon battle already exists on Mario Kart 8. Just you drive around on actual Mario Kart tracks rather than um, battle horses. Renegade Roundup is something completely new and unique to Mario Kart Deluxe. Bob on Blast, I do believe, is the same as well. Coin Runners was on Mario Kart Wii, and I'm pretty sure it was on previous Mario Karts as well, but I'm not too familiar with any others past Wii, so correct me if I'm wrong on that. Shine Thief, I think, was on DS, or something similar was on DS with that. And of course, random battle obviously randomised the lot out of that. So um, I'm going to go on to Renegade Roundup first of all, uh, and just take a look and see what's going to go, what's going to happen. Uh, you can't seem to do any less than four, so I'm probably just going to do one battle on Renegade Roundup and then move on to a different mode and see what happens. Uh, now I believe blue is the people who are trying to round up all the feeds and whatnot. Uh, and Reds, who is trying to get away. Now, there's a course I wanted to play for ages, Wahoo Town. Wahoo Town is um, 
something I've always wanted to come back in HD. And uh, now that it's here on um, Deluxe, I can finally get that chance to play and see what it looks like. So let's take a look. <laughs> wow, it does look it does look very different actually, but uh, that doesn't surprise me too much at all. I mean, if they actually brought the Warhu tracks back from 3DS, they would look fantastic on this game. Okay, it actually looks like yeah, dodge the law. Okay, so we're actually running away from the. How did I look back there? All right, I accidentally hit X. Whoa, these things are sensitive. Oh my god, the rumble as well. I almost ran into them. Okay. Yeah, this says the drifting actually feels a lot different in comparison. To <laughs> no. We're stuck. Okay, so yeah. Um, but the looks of things, if you get caught by the people with the prime plants, then you get stuck in these uh, gates. Oh no, Baby Mario, come on, let us out! Let's out! And as you can see there, Baby Mario uh, drove at the bottom there and freed us from the cells. And so we were. No! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I got stuck again! Um, so yeah, there's, there's, there's a button or something underneath the cage in which they have to uh, open and let us out. And you can see at the top there actually who's left. And it looks like it's only Baby Mario. This has gone horribly wrong for a first battle. <laughs> Come on, Baby Mario, let us out. Oh no, Wendy's, Wendy and Baby Daisy are keeping the guard. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Let's actually do. Let's actually do something. Uh, okay. We'll get an item for once. And you have the dual item system too. No, I didn't even get a chance to use that. God's sake. I put in. I've been put in a different cell now. Okay, we're relying on Baby Mario to help us out here. Alright. Let's see if we can hit Tanuki Mario with our boomerang. And we managed to get another item as well. Ah, uh, I missed the thing. Okay, we'll turn around. Is there anyone in there? There is. Bowser's in there. Okay, so I just got that key and I just freed him from the cell. Alright. I mean, there's also coins here as well. I don't know if it still affects your speed at all. Is there anyone in here? It doesn't look like I can hit people on my team anymore either. They must have corrected that. That's good if that that's really good if they have if they have. No! I drove straight into that! Damn! Come on, please. Please, baby Mario. Oh, I'm, I'm in the other, I'm in the other crate, crate. okay. Damn, this is difficult. <laughs> Come on, no. If they stay on the track, I think we win. Yes, we managed to win. Perfect. That's great. So I managed to get two points. I'm not too sure how you get points in this game. I guess it's from actually hitting people. But that was fun. Uh, I like that, actually. Um, that's a very, very nice looking feature of the uh, of the game that they've brought into it. Um, very nice, indeed. Uh, so we're going to go back into it here. And we're going to go back into battles. Um, I'm going to do Renegade Roundup again, actually. And I'm going to, this time, sh go on the red team. Um, because this time, I'll be working to try and capture people. And um, I'll try out one of the new courses, actually. I think Dragon Palace sounds like a really nice place to go to. Um, sort of, I guess, the battle version of Dragon Driftway. So, um, I'm quite interested to see how this will go. <laughs> I'm quite interested to see what this will be like. Um, oh wow, okay, this is not what I was expecting, it looks like you can, can go on so many levels and everything. It looks like um, the, that palace from Kung Fu Panda almost, and then that's the training ground at the bottom where 
I think Poe lands into. I, I need to watch, I need to re-watch um, Kung Fu Panda. Um, noticing actually looking at the item boxes and definitely the coins actually. I can definitely see that there is a graphics improvement. It's not by much of an improvement. Ah, look, here's the, the one and only red mini turbo, which looks more pinky, purple. Ah, okay. Did I get him? Okay, let's take a look. Oh. I don't know why I just find them at, at Isabel. What is, was that Isabel? I saw Isabel's name tag. Uh, well, that was short-lived. Um, we caught everybody and <laughs> managed to win the game. Uh, let's do let's do another round of that actually, um, just because I did not manage to uh, do much. Let's go to Sweet Kingdom. I believe this looks like it will be based around um, Cake World or Sweet Sweet Canyon. Which would be very interesting to take a look at, actually. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this looks like a nice course. I didn't even take a, a good look around. Dodge the law. I've been swapped. Okay, so it looked like if I just chose next battle anyway, it would have swapped me out anyways. Well, wow, that's a bit irritating. They actually swapped me around. And I didn't notice. Alright, well, at least I know now. Well... Oh wow, they've actually improved the texture on these sugary things here um, in comparison with the Sweet Sweet Canyon one. That's awesome. Alright, so now we have to dodge the blues. Okay, let's see. Okay. I can keep my boomerang and get another boomerang. Let's see my team mixed. Arrgh! Oh, come on. I'm not really paying attention to the minimap. I should honestly pay attention to the minimap. That'd be very helpful around about now. Hello, Waluigi. What are you in for? Okay. Uh, <laughs> can someone free us, please? It looks like we're going to lose this one, I think. Rosalina's hot on Baby Mario's tail. Yeah, he got caught. Damn. Alright. Well, that was Renegade Roundup. That was a pretty interesting... Um, a pretty interesting concept, if I must be very honest. Actually, I really do like that. And I, I like it a lot more than I thought I would, too. Alright. Um, so, we're going to go back into battles here. And we're going to have a crack at something else. And I guess that would be... Shine Feast, because this is the only other one that's the only other battle mode that seems to have a, a completely different concept. Now, uh, I'm gonna go and actually play on SNES Battle Course 1, which I think is a course that has been brought back quite a few times uh, in the past. But uh, I'm not too sure if this is the SNES Battle Course that is, um, that is on Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7, and I guess on every other course too. It doesn't look like it, it looks completely different from what I remember. And it looks like you can drive on the wall. I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm correct in saying that. Let's try. Let's go up onto that, re let's see if we can get up onto that red wall. I'm gonna try this. Yes, you can. That's interesting. If only I could do that on uh, MC3, on Mario Kart. Right, so I guess the target is to try and get Dry Bones, who has the shine. Okay. And then once you hit, once you hit them, the shine, the shine then scatters away. So I'm currently chasing all the CPUs who get it before me. I don't even think it matters about points. Okay, I think if I shroom into... Who is that? Isabel? I just missed her. Get it! 
Okay, I got it. Alright, so... <laughs> now I just have to be a bit... Now I just have to protect it. Oh my god, I lost it. Quick, get it, get it! Move! Okay, so um, after you get hit for a little while, it doesn't let you move so easily. No! Toadette got it. Daisy got the shine. What's going on? It's passing between loads of people just behind my back and I didn't even notice. Okay, the music's quite different on this track as far as I can hear. I can't hear it very well, but um... It's definitely different to the previous Mario Kart 8 music that they made. Ah, I missed him. Damn it. Alright, well... We'll try again. Okay, it looks like he's giving you a countdown to keep the... Uh... Oh, I've got one of the new items now. The feather. I'm not too sure what this does. I believe you can... Oh man, you can bounce over stuff. This, this, that looks like fun. Oh, but of course, it only lasted for a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can get up on the wall. Oh, Morton tried following me. Ah, okay, so I managed to hold the shine for long enough just to, just enough to win. That's perfect. Okay, brilliant. I'm quite happy with that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how similar that is to the Mario Kart DS one, but I do know that there was a game called Shine Runners on there. Uh, so let's go back again. Uh, and this time we'll do one of the others, um, which I believe... Bob on Blast is the next one in the list to do. And um, I'm going to take a look at Luna's, Luna Colony. Because I think that'll be an interesting course to take a look at and see how well I can do it. Um, but for what I know, this is a, an anti-gravity course, but I might be wrong in that aspect of things. So let's take a look. So this is one of the new courses, and I think it's completely different to in comparison to all the racing tracks you have on this game. Definitely. Okay, so you, you have balloons, um, but I guess the only items you get are bobbins. And like I said, it is an, is, is an anti-gravity trick. Oh, now you actually get a, a, a certain amount. This is going to be difficult. I can't even see anyone. Okay, so the, my own bomb didn't affect me. Alright, let's take a look. Can we... Oh. I hit Cat Peach. Oh, that's cool. So, it tells you who you hit and everything. Alright, let's see who... Is there anyone down here? Baby Daisies? Yeah. Okay, that didn't hit anyone. Right, uh... If you drop them, they don't explode so quickly. Whoa. Okay, let's see if I can trick people. No, I just threw that straight. Alright. Did I get them? I, I, oh, I thought I did. Okay. No! Dry Bones got me. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, so oh, yeah, I forgot to say um, they have some new characters in this game as well now. So, Dry Bones is one of those that have come back. Um, yeah, that boost lasts for a little bit longer than the orange one, but not too much longer. Oh! Dry Bones hit me again. Jesus Christ, he is good. Woo! Okay, luckily, I think if I just throw the bomb forward and then... Or if I drove into it then... It doesn't really affect you. Now, I don't see the reason why the item... I guess if I, like, throw a number of bombs forward... 
and then collect an item box, it, yeah, it adds up to your your score of um, bob -ombs. Yeah, okay. That's what the item boxes are for. Right. They do hose. They do house. Hose. House where you keep all the bob -ombs. So if I'm just be driving around this trap, this course, even just throwing bob -ombs around, I'm not really hitting anybody. Um... I definitely need more practice with this one, I think, actually. Well, I, I think I need more practice with the battles in general, and I'm probably going to look back at this recording and uh, just think back to how not good I was at this game. <laughs> uh, I, hit, I hit someone. Damn, okay. I almost, I almost, I think I almost got another point. Oh, I got sick. That's not too bad. Drybone's got eight out of everybody. Man, that was confusing. Uh, now the other two battles, I don't think are really anything so important as such. So I guess the only other thing I'm going to take a look at is the online play. Now you can swap between one player and two player, but as I don't have anyone else here with me at the moment, I guess I'm only going to go on to one player. Uh, so you can have friends and rivals. And I currently don't have any friends, apparently. I don't know what that's all about. Um, and I guess you could probably pause and take a look. Uh, and see who's there. But, um... Oh, that's strange. They changed that quite a bit. Uh, but yeah. I can't seem to see where any of my friends are at the moment. Uh, you have some communities. Um, currently just the Nintendo ones, by the looks of it. Ah, now you've still got some uh, communities which look like they were carried over, either carried over or recreated on um, here. So I guess I could create a, a new Team 8631, hopefully. Um, without further ado, I guess I'll go on to Global, and seeming as I haven't raced, but I'm sort of eager to give it a try anyways, let's take a look and see how racing fares for us uh, in this. And then maybe we'll do an online battle. And see how that goes. So we're currently searching for players. Let's see if we can find anyone. By the looks of things, it might not be working just yet. Uh, I don't even know for sure. Please wait. Alright. Okay. So we actually found a room. Alright. So in comparison to the other, to original Mario Kart 8, um, it looks like... We, well, we do have new suits. I can't really select and see who anyone is from this but i believe you can change your cart combo if you want to by clicking y uh, i'm not going to do that though i think for nil i will ch choose dolphin shoes i think nil would want me to choose dolphin shoes so nil this is for you i'm choosing dolphin shoes <laughs> just for you uh so uh yeah also noticed that I'm the only person in blue in this room, actually, which is quite interesting. And people seem to be talking. Uh, how do you talk? P press X. I guess I'll say hello. Now, uh, how many people are there in the room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, we've currently got ten votes, so uh, the room isn't progressing. Um, I do remember actually, there was a, ah, okay, something's happening, what's happening, are we disconnecting, okay, I'm not too sure what happened there, uh, maybe the online service is a little bit buggy, but we're going to Swamp Ruins, and for some reason there was a 100 next to that, so yeah, these people have been playing a little bit more than I have. Um, but Thwomp Ruins is the track that I played quite a lot on Mario Kart 8. Uh, I time trialed it a fair bit. Not to say that I'll win. I'm currently starting off in second. So I guess that's a good start. Someone's still using a Mario Kart combo. Okay, so first item it gave me is a coin, which is kind of weird. And I got sniped immediately. But it's okay. This is good. This is fine so far. So I just gotta remember that bunny hopping doesn't exist. Uh, doesn't work as a uh, what do you call it anymore, which will make things arguably a lot harder. 
but uh, of course I don't think it will stop the game from play being played. Now of course I, I didn't even notice my banana went missing there, so uh, that was kind of new to me. Whatever just happened there. Um, I think I might have just managed to execute a red mini turtle. Let's see. Now, of course, I've got two items at the same time. I've got a mushroom now. Let's see what else I can execute. A green shell, perfect. Okay. Let's see if I can. Alright, so I could just take that first with that mushroom. And I got the person who was behind me anyways. Now some of these boxes have been doubled up. I, I noticed that one on the side there. Uh, which turned to um, a double box. So I guess if I got that one, I'd have double the items. Um, it'll fill both my item spots on my item reel. Okay, this seems to be pretty um, good so far. The item, the, the red shells seem to be numerous still. And damn, that uh, rolly thing took my, uh, took the, the triple item. Okay. There's still an ability to come back from this. I found an item to protect me, so uh, yeah. Ah, oh, damn, I messed up. It looks like I'm gonna get second, unless I can snipe this guy. That was a completely useless uh, item I managed to bag after that. But hey, uh, uh, that wasn't a bad race on my behalf for the first ever race I've done on Mario Kart Deluxe. But uh, we'll leave that there for now. I uh, I think I'll um, give that a bit of a rest and maybe come back to racing online a bit later on in the game. So uh, we'll quit this now and uh, let's take a look at the global battle. Let's see what our options are here. So of course we have to search for players again. Currently spectating. Okay, so they still kept the spectating aspect of it. I wasn't the only one who was just waiting for for a long time in comparison. Now these name labels on the screen look a lot more different, or a lot different in comparison to the original Mario Kart 8. And it looks like everybody's currently playing Coin Runner, so I guess the game will choose for you on whether or not you play coin runners or whatever else you get to play. So we're currently looking at Relix from uh, Finland, uh, who was in fourth. Uh, and the it, it did have a countdown there and it just ended. So uh, let's take a look and see what, what happens. All right, so you get, um, you get a choice to choose courses and whatnot. Uh, not too sure what to choose exactly. <laughs> Um, I guess to make things fair, I'll go random. And in all honesty, I don't really want to go on the Splatoon course. Mainly because I don't want to play the Splatoon course. But be it that I have the game, I'm probably going to end up going there at some point. Uh, regardless of whether or not I have it. Okay, so it looks like everyone's chosen. How many people do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Yeah, so everyone chose, but the game still decided to count down all the way to 1. Now, again, I think there's probably a lot of people maybe playing this, or the servers might be a little bit buggy. We go to a course which was already on random anyways, and by the looks of things, that plant um, indicates that this is going to be a Renegade Roundup match. Now I guess that, that sort of answers my question, it is a, ra a Renegade Roundup match. Um, and we're dodging the law, annoyingly enough. Uh, now I believe that probably showed what CC it was. 
uh, when we were in the worldwide when it picked Romp Ruins and a hundred next to it, so I guess that was what the CC was. Alright, crap. Okay. Shroom. I don't know what to do with this. Bunny hopping? That that does that that has no effect. I can tell how how they've nerfed it sort of, actually. Whoa! I I think I I just dodged someone who uh Who was um on my team and then bumped straight into somebody who wasn't. Alright, can someone free us please? Help. On what? Jamie what what's going on? Ah, the horns. Everyone beep your horns! Beep your horn! He's just, this guy's just driving backwards and forwards. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Right, okay. Where were we? Okay. I don't know why it's giving me this. I got caught again. I don't even, I didn't even get time to see who, who caught me. Okay. Thanks, Relix. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Oh, someone's guarding this cell as well. Okay, cool. Right, uh... Okay. There's someone trapped down there. Oh, someone opened the door. I can't see where they are! I almost- I tried to shroom past them! It looks like actually you need to collect the coins. I guess maybe that's why it's like escape from the law. You're kind of stealing the coins, and so when you get caught, those coins go. Damn it. We've only got one person left. And the whole red team is guarding this 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 base. Come on. Yes! Thank you! Alright. Alright, we need to collect the coins. I've just found- I just worked out the objective. Damn it, TIMOTHY! God's sake! Jesus Lord. Alright, please. Help! I think they won. No, we managed to win. And I lost for the whole team. Well then, everybody. Oh my god, because we won, we all got first and they all ranked seventh. That's kind of impressive. Like, I think if they at least got some points, they should have uh, ranked differently. And now the whole... <laughs> The whole blue team who won have all got their have all got their crowns on, and I think some of the other team left as well. Damn. Okay. Well, thanks for the game, guys. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. And now I guess if it goes on to friends and rivals, you can see all your rivals ranked here. For some reason, it doesn't have any of my friends show up randomly, but uh, I guess that's uh, that's that. And yeah. So um. Hmm, interesting. Uh, now we can take a look at the play stats. It seems to uh, show us what we've collected and everything already. Uh, my favourite course is currently Sweet Sweet Kingdom or Cake Kingdom. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, distance in kilometres, it, it gives you what it measures in there. Um, but basically all these stats and how I rank up against, oh my god, it actually tells me how I rank up against everybody. Interesting. Well, yeah, those, those strats, those stats are definitely interesting. And you can easily scan an amiibo in, like I've got from Hands Reach, um, Villager Amiibo. Uh, you just place him on the analog stick of the, uh, what is this, right Joy-Con? And it will scan him into the into the collection. I have an entire bag of amiibos, so I'm gonna go and ahead and scan those in as well. 
What else do we have? Mario Kart TV still exists. Um, unfortunately, although Mario Kart TV is still here, um, what you might call it, uh, what is it, Miva still doesn't. But uh, I'm going to take a look, maybe you, you can still upload it. Maybe it has more editing options, let's take a look, shall we? Alright, let's see. Uh, come on. Okay, no, it still seems to be uh, the same in that aspect. Um, X to zoom in. Let's see, let's see how can we edit this. Uh, it looks like it's around about the same. So, uh... Map. We'll put the map on. So you can see us. Alright, so here I go. Drifting around the course. Bumping into a wall with my mushroom. Attempting to bunny hop, but then realising that it wasn't a possible a possibility. It slowed down the replay for me at that point. When Jamie got me. And so I'll hop around the corner here. Throw the boomerang and then get caught by that piranha plant. Here comes Timothy. Just cornered me and uh, captured me in this, this jail cell. You can see me uh, driving around. I'm really bad at commentating this. Oh, man. But, yeah, this is uh, interesting overall. Oh, my God. Now, does it show the bit where we win? I think it's coming up. Yeah, there we go. So awesome. So the replay aspect of things still seems to be a bit like uh, Mario Kart um, Mario Kart 8, but you can't upload the highlight anymore for some reason. But yeah, that was nice. Nice to take a look at that. Uh, I'm not too sure why they kept this in there if you can't really upload anything from there anymore. Uh, who knows? <laughs> oh, we'll see. And then of course you get a help option which I'm not too sure what happens from this, but we'll see. We'll take a look. Uh, it, so it can give you a list of driving techniques, uh, tell you about the items, I guess, and then tell you about battles, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, um, other than that, that's really it. Um, that seems like the basics of uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I've done an entire 42-minute recording on this, and it's probably going to be longer with this outro thing that I'm going to give. But yeah, this is interesting actually, um, it's definitely living up to more than my expectations were, be it that um, bunny hopping was a, something that was pulled out of the original game um, to create this, which sort of uh, has closed off doing time trials for me, because I was going to like sit here with my, or sit on a train, on the train, uh, maybe going to college, just time trialing how I would Mario Kart 8, but you know, I guess it still has some nice aspects to it and I think they've they've sort of compensated uh, for that actually um, they sort of compensated particularly with that impressive third mini turbo I do like the animation for that but I think it's pink not red um, but yeah anyways so uh, that's really all I had to deliver for today I think that was quite nice um, still sticking to the plans of what I'm gonna do with uh, my recording schedule and everything so I'm not planning to uh, upload as much up until the end of June, when I'll be finished with college forever. Um, and I have a lot of work that I need to be doing. Uh, I'm actually sacrificing that working time to record this today. So, uh, that's naughty of me, but uh, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it all recorded properly uh, on my computer. It has had a couple of issues over the past few months, but uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to taking this game further and seeing how it goes. And um, yeah, uh, other than that, I thank you everyone for watching. And I shall see you again later. Goodbye. <laughs>